pretty soon because it's a very interesting book, the book of Revelation. And chapter 2 of Revelation is very interesting too. And it talks about that spirit of Jezebel in Revelations chapter 2. So this passage that I'm about to read is stemming from Revelations chapter 2 verses 18 through 29. So I'm going to read it. Now, remember my warning to the my warning to the church of Thyatira, and do not allow yourself or your family to be like it. For I know your works, love, service, faith, and patience. But if you allow the evil assignment of Jezebel to corrupt you or my church in this present day, then I will also say to you. Because you allow the spirit of Jezebel to teach and seduce my children to commit sexual immorality or to worship idols and did not repent, then I will allow sickness and tribulation to enter into your life. But if you will hold fast to what I have commanded you and overcome the evils of Jezebel until I return to you, then I will give you power over the wickedness in this world. So, that's an interesting passage right there. So, Father God, I pray that you help us in the TI community not to yield to the spirit of Jezebel as far as sinning in idolatry and witchcraft or, or hanging around people that that are immoral. That you will help us all in the TI community, including myself, have a moral God conscience from you, Father God. A moral conscience, Father God, to do what is right. And not to hang around idolaters and Jezebel spirit to fill people and people that's full of witchcraft or that does witchcraft or whatever. So help us, Father God, to remember your warning like you gave to the church of Thyatira in the TI community. Help us in the TI, help all TIs, Father God, include myself, not to allow ourselves or our families to be like this church of Thyatira, Father God. Because you know our works, Father God, the love and service and faith and patience that we do as TIs in the TR community in our lives. But Father God, help us not to allow the evil assignment of Jezebel in the TR community. Help all of us in the TR community, all TIs, not to allow, include myself, not to allow evil assignments, the evil assignments of Jezebel to corrupt us or the church in this present day. Because, Father, just like you said to the people in Thyatira, the church in Thyatira, you're going to also say it to us in the TI community, to all TIs, Father God. Because we allow the spirit of Jezebel to teach and seduce us. Help us in all TIs, Father, including myself, not to allow the spirit of Jezebel to teach and seduce our children for the ones in the TI community that have children nor seduce us either. To commit sexual immorality or worship idols or Father God or do anything evil in sin, Father God in Jesus Christ or any type of witchcraft or sorcery or nothing, Father God or anything dishonest or nothing. And help us to have a repentant heart in the TI community, Father, help us, help all TIs, including myself, to have a contrite spirit to repent when we do mess up, Father God, when we do sin. In Jesus Christ's name. Because you said if we don't repent, Father God, you know, for this evil Jezebel sin, Father God, in our lives, for the ones that are guilty of that in the TI community. Not all the TIs are guilty of that out there in the TI community, but I'm talking about the ones that are. Guilty of those things of Jezebel sins. Um, and I have repented for many times in my life. So I'm not perfect out there either, TI community. So I thank you, Father God. You said if you don't repent, you will allow sickness and tribulation to enter our lives, Father God. And so a lot of us in the TI community are going through sickness and tribulation because some of us in the TI community, when we did not. We allow Jezebel to bring us into the spirit of Jezebel to bring us into various types of sins. And, and, and some of us didn't repent for it and, and, you know, for those sins of Jezebel. And so, Father God, a lot of times we go through stuff in tribulation and sickness because we don't obey you. 
in your word, Father God. So I pray that you help myself and all TIs in the TI community to be obedient to your word, Father God, and even the TIs that have not yet became your children yet, to be obedient and to listen to you and your direction and guidance of your word and your voice, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you will help us in the TI community, Father God, to submit to you and be contrite in spirit and be humble in spirit, to repent when we need to repent for things, including myself, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, so we won't have to go through the tribulations and sickness and, and curses and stuff, Father God, because of disobedience of your word or whatever, and yield into the spirit of Jezebel and stuff in Jesus Christ's name. Help us in the TI community, all TIs, Father, including myself, to hold fast to what you have commanded us to do according to your word and overcome the evils of Jezebel until you return to us, Father God, especially your children, Father God. Then you will give us power, Father God, over the wickedness in this world, Father God. You will give us in the TI community, all TIs, your power to overcome the wickedness in this world, Father God. Including me, Father God, you will give me the power to overcome the wickedness of this world, including the wickedness of this world that's connected to any slavery program that any TI, any of us TIs are being persecuted by, which is loaded with wickedness from this world. In Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I thank you for your word that is done. This prayer is done in the lives of all TIs and including my life in Jesus Christ's name. And it's stemming from Revelations 2, verses 18 to 29. And now I'm going to do a prayer declaration for all TIs in the TI community all over the world, of America and Canada, and for myself as well. Father, my Heavenly Father, I rebuke all spirits of false teaching, false prophecy, idolatry, and perversion connected with Jezebel that have came against all TIs and that have came against my life in Jesus Christ's name. I cut off the assignment of Jezebel and come against all TIs and against the ministers of God, against the ministers of God that's in the TI community too, that are being targeted in any slavery program in Jesus Christ's name and against all TIs. I cut off the assignment, the evil assignment of Jezebel that come against me and all TIs. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I thank you that all of us in the TI community, all TIs, we will love you holy, Father God. I will love you holy, Father God, as well. And all of us in the TI, all TIs, will serve you with all the works of our hands and live faithfully according to the instructions of your word to us, Father God, to us in the TI community, and hold fast to you, Father God, until and hold fast to Jesus Christ until. Jesus, return until you return to us, Father God, in the TI community, especially your children that are born again Christians in the TI community. In Jesus Christ's name, Father, I thank you that this prayer is done in our lives, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah, Father God. Now, this is the end of this prayer, and I just want a prayer of doing this uh Passage prayers and also um, biblical prayers that I prayed against the spirit of Jezebel that come against the lives of all TIs that come against my life in the TI community. And Father God, I just thank you that we overcome the spirit of Jezebel and rule over the nations. You know, we overcome the spirit of Jezebel by your power and rule over the nations, Father God. You know, we can't do it without you in the TI community. No TI including myself, cannot do anything without you. Can't do anything without Jesus Christ. It takes Jesus to deliver us from this persecution, this abuse, this harassment, to protect us and save us. And Father, you are mighty to save Jesus Christ. You are mighty to save. And Holy Spirit, you are mighty to save all TIs in the TI community from all bondage and and torture and slavery and imprisonment, including myself. You are mighty to save, Father God, Jehovah Yahweh. In Jesus Christ's name, and I give you glory and honor to you, Father God, 
In Jesus Christ's name, thank you, Father God, that these prayers are done in the lives of all TIs all over the world, all over America and Canada and in, my, in Canada and in my life as well. In Jesus Christ's name, from anyone that's being persecuted in any given slavery program, whether it's human trafficking, sex trafficking, prostitution trafficking, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and I pray that you destroy all the plans of Jezebel that's trying to get T.I.'s enlisted in another slavery program like myself too. In sex trafficking or whatever, to be further in slavery, that you will break and cut off the plans of Jezebel and the plans of Satan with the with your power and your might and with the blood of Jesus Christ off of the lives of all T.I.'s and off of my life. In Jesus Christ's name, Father, to try to enlist us in another slavery program. That you will cut off the spirit of Jezebel and control and witchcraft that's trying to enlist me in another slavery program and sex trafficking or something. In Jesus Christ's name or whatever program. Off with your power and your anointing and with the blood of Jesus Christ off of my life. The spirit of Jezebel and witchcraft. In Jesus Christ's name of perversion. That you will break these evil spirits of assault and sexual harassment and assault off of the lives of all T.I.'s father. And abduction and murder. And sexual, masochistic, satanic abuse, sexual abuse off of the lives of any T.I. that's being persecuted in a covert way in this manner. In the T.I. community with your power and your anointing and with the blood of Jesus Christ off the lives of these T.I.'s in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will break all spirits of abuse and Satanism and Satanic ritual abuse, whether it's overt or covert, off the lives of all TIs, including myself, with your power and your anointing and with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. I praise you, Father God, and I give you glory in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you release your correcting fires and convictions upon our persecutors that perpetrate us in any given slavery program that persecute TIs, that persecute me in Jesus Christ's name, and that you release. Your punishment upon these perps that come against us, these oppressors and perpetrators and persecutors that come against us in the TI community and that they will be found out, Father God, that you expose and shine your bright light upon these perpetrators that come against me and all TIs in the TI community in any given slavery program that's persecuting us and oppressing us in Jesus Christ's name. And I bind and I break the spirit of Pharaoh off of the lives of all TIs and off of my life in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will burn up these spirits and send these spirits of Pharaoh, these horse spirits and these, these horse pale heart spirits and rider and chariot spirits, Father God, up, Father God, that come against us in the, in the TI community with your holy fires and with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And off of my life, that you will burn all horse, pale horse spirits, black horse spirits, red heart spirits, rider and chariot spirits, Father God, controller spirits and driving spirits that come against me and all TIs off our lives and burn them up completely with your holy fires and destroy them off our lives with your holy fires and with the blood of Jesus Christ off the lives of all TIs and off of my life in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will also, upon the persecutors that I'm dealing with in my own life, that you will expose them, Father God, that's persecuting me and perpetrating me. And abusing me and oppressing me. And Jesus Christ that you will shine your bright light upon them. And expose them and bring them out to the open. And bring and put a stop to this covert gain stocking stuff. Father God for all TIs that are being persecuted. And for myself that's being persecuted in this covert gain stocking program. And all slavery programs from any TIs that's being persecuted in any given slavery program. Whether it's human trafficking, pedophilia, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, organ trafficking, labor trafficking. Prostitution ring trafficking, homosexual trafficking, or whatever, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father, that you release and loose the blood of Jesus Christ upon all TIs and upon me and the TI community all over the world, all over America and Canada, to deliver us out of the hands of Satan and to the hands of you, Father God, and to Jesus Christ. Forever and ever and ever in Jesus Christ's name that you adjudicate this satanic program and slavery and break this slavery off our lives, this imprisonment, this bondage and captivity and exile off the lives of all TIs and off of my life with your power and your anointing and your might and with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. 
I pray, Father God, for you to bring victory in our lives, Father God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, that you release your angels to bring victory, to bring restoration and healing in our lives, Father God, to bring safety.